Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Aksan And now I would like to show you How to use SPSS To test validity and reliability Also to test descriptive statistics Well, let's go The first thing you should prepare Is uh, the SPSS And the Microsoft Excel. Here I provide uh, the data and after that we should calculate all the data. You can block all the data and don't forget to add one more column at the right side to place your uh, your total later and then go to formulas and click auto sum it's automatically the total is appear here and then copy all the data copy and move to the SPSS Paste the data there. Okay, here we go. And move to variable view. You have to change the name of the variable that appear here. Click the name. Press button control plus F. And uh, choose replace. In the find box, you should type VAR triple uh, zero, and in the replace with box, you should type X, and then replace all. Okay, you find this. Right. Don't forget to change uh, the last table to be total total and move oh sorry come back to the data view to analyze uh, I mean to test the, the validity you should go to analyze correlate and bivariate move all the variables to the right side and make sure that the Pearson here is checked and then okay well this is a peer the result the Pearson correlation it shows um, the validity of the data sorry uh, the number of the Pearson from the data and the sick to tailed here means the significance of the data and the n here means uh, the number of the respondent okay uh, let's go to the total at the right side you can see this uh, we know that the data is called normal when the significance is no more than 0 0.05 or less than 0 0.05 here we find uh, there are no more than 0 0.05 it means this data is valid well the second uh, we want to test the reliability but still using the same uh, data source well uh, go to analyze scale and reliability analysis here you should move all the data except the total okay remember except the total 
to the right side, like this. And then choose statistics, checklist the scale of item deleted, click continue, and don't forget to keep the alpha model here, and then click OK. Well, ta-da! This is the result of the reliability test. Well, the test is called reliable when the cron the cron batch alpha is more than 0.6, and here it shows 0.9. It means this uh, this data or this questionnaire is um, reliable. Well, when we want to um, what is it? When when we want to test the sorry, what's it? Uh, when we want to see the descriptive statistics, we can come back to uh, the Excel, Microsoft Excel. Okay, we can copy the total copy and we open uh, the SPSS, the new uh, the new work of SPSS and paste there. Paste. Okay. Go to the variable view. Change the decimal into zero and change the name whatever you want. But here I want to uh, type total. Yes. Okay, come back to data view. After that, if we want to know the descriptive statistics uh, we should go to the analyze and descriptive statistics and descriptives move the total into the right side and then click options and checklist all the analysis that you want to know here I want to know uh, the mean the standard deviation the minimum and maximum then click continue ok and then click ok yes here it is the result of the calculation of descriptive statistics well um, thank you for watching hopefully this video is useful for you and see you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye